So if you are related to digital marketing anyhow, in previous days, most probably you might have heard the word digital out of home or programmatic digital out of home. Or you might have seen this tab suddenly pop up in DV360 UI and wondering what this is all about. Or you're just curious to know what's going on in digital media space. That's why in this video, I'll tell you everything about this, including what programmatic digital out of home means. Why is it important for digital marketers to know in terms of is it going to be future? What should we expect in the near future? And then we will discuss about DV360 and digital out of home and the reason why this recently became a buzzword. Now DOH or digital out of home is simply when you buy ad spaces on digital screens in malls, airports, stadiums, bus stops, shopping centers, elevators. You might have seen in elevators and much, much more. So anywhere outdoor, out of the home, you see any digital screen ads, they are called digital out of home. Now, somebody might ask why. We already used to have those unipoles, those bridge banners, we used to have uh, billboards. Why move them to digital? Now, honestly, what digital did to TV and radio, now digital is doing the same thing to outdoor media. Now, there are a lot of benefits. The first one is less production dollars and man hours. Imagine if somebody had to buy a billboard, a big billboard, a company is needed to print those big billboards, which includes a lot of man hours, which includes a lot of money, as well as as even installing those costs a lot of money. Trust me, there are some outdoors in Dubai where the production value, only the production value is 150,000 dirhams. I have booked that for clients. And there are a lot of other factors like they can do A-B testing. Let's say an advertiser wants to book it for one week, one month, or share with two more advertisers. They can run multiple uh, banners there. One, let's say, with green uh, theme, one with red theme, or whatever. Basically, they can customize, they can A-B test, they can see which one is grabbing more eyeballs, which one is having more impact. And one of the big factors which I mentioned at the beginning is customizability. They can change a banner every day. They just have to create a digital banner, feed it in a computer somewhere, and they can change it like every day. They can have campaigns like countdowns. Let's say iPhone 14 has 10 days, they 10 days before the launch they uh, launch the campaign and every day the number changes eight days to go seven days to go and a lot more basically digital out of home is out of home advertising but with some features from digital which make it even more powerful okay so that was about digital out of home but what is programmatic digital out of home now basically what happens is in programmatic digital out of home you can buy these ad spaces on these digital screens in malls in elevators outside from your DSP seats. For example, if you use DV360, if you use Trade Desk, you can literally create a campaign, book these and run your campaign through your DSP seat and book ads and campaigns on these screens. But why did it recently became a buzzword? Like the Trade Desk and other DSPs have been doing it for a while. But on August 24, this year, 2022, DV360 started having this feature as well. Now we can create digital out of home campaigns, programmatic campaigns in DV360. But what makes it so special? Let me show you some examples. Now, for example, if you look at this uh, ad here, what it says is the next train bus is due in two minutes. Why don't you use this time to do something with the app? It's a finance app. Now, what happens is they are getting data from the local transport provider. And whenever they see that there is, for example, there is two minutes for the bus to arrive, they accordingly show that particular creative let's say they will switch every minute so imagine this ad helps you to understand how much time is left for the next bus to arrive and at the same time it's so personalized and it's telling you to use the app i mean this is advertising at a very next level so what it is doing is it is outdoor advertising but then it is using power of programmatic it's using signals from the transport provider the data from there and basically bidding the exact creative that will match that situation let's go to another example for example this one here hello london 27 degrees celsius what they are doing is they are using an API from let's say an app called weather app or any other app where they are feeding this data in DV360 or any other DSP dynamically. Now what will happen is whatever the temperature it will one show the temperature to the users and look at the creativity of the ad and it will show outdoors. There are numerous examples let's say for example your um, you have seat booking system if you are a restaurant this in, in this example this restaurant whenever they have free seats what they do is they show this ad 
let's say nearby to any digital out of home screen they bid it they choose the location because when you create these campaigns you can literally see all the locations a provider has and you can book this location i want to bid on this location or things like that so imagine this kind of advertising and there are other examples let's say flights are delayed let's say this particular restaurant they get the flight data from the airport authorities so whenever there is a flight delay they show an offer or they show a personalized message now similarly if there is a for example traffic jam now what you do is you integrate with let's say google maps api you get the data whenever there's a traffic jam on a junction you bid on the digital out of home screen there and show an ads like stuck in a traffic jam question mark use calm to calm your mind there are numerous other examples let's say you are a coffee shop whenever you set a rule that okay whenever there is a temperature crosses 25 degrees show the creative which is uh, cold coffee otherwise show hot coffee and it's not just about the time and the signals you get from data providers now imagine there is a big hoarding in city center and there's a big restaurant there they don't want to show their ads on that big billboard throughout the day and spend so much money they just want to show during the business large hours now that can be done as well what also makes it special is for example if you are based in india let's say you didn't have any operations in new york now you just launched a store there now it will be very difficult for you to identify the local market the publishers the suppliers and have a deal with them to book a let's say out of home inventory and show an ad there it will be very difficult but with dv360 or any other dsp with programmatic digital out of home you can literally go to your dsp seat create a proposal sitting in india or anywhere just book that for certain duration now some people ask me okay uh, how can we buy can we buy open auction preferred deals so what you can do is you can buy programmatic guaranteed as well you can have programmatic guaranteed deals for any screen or a publisher and you can have preferred deals as well as well as you can have open auction but open auction is not available in dv360 yet but in some of the dsps you can even create open auction campaigns for some of the out of out of home locations now the next two points are specific to dv360 which is like how does it start if i want to create a campaign in dv360 how can i do it the first one is you go to marketplace you go into the out of home inventory you can search there the suppliers all the big suppliers like jd decal and all those are already available there you can request for a proposal or if you already in a, are in touch with a supplier who has digital out of home um, inventory they can provide you a deal id push a deal and you can connect that using db360 as well so these are the both the methods which you can use the next question is a lot of people ask me is what are the things i should know what are the things that are different obviously it's a very different technology but i'll just quickly give you a heads up like what all you should be aware of now the first thing that is different in digital out of home programmatic is that impression counting now like you have in a traditional digital programmatic campaign you have impressions but in here you have two type of impressions one is publisher impressions and one is served impressions now served impression would be for example if you are bidding on a outdoor screen which shows 15 second videos now if your video was shown 10 times in the day because they rotate the advertisers let's say in the whole day your video was shown 10 times so that will be served impressions which is 10 or even if it is a banner not a video so that will be 10 served impressions will be 10 but then again there is a concept called publisher impressions which is equal to served impressions multiplied by the impression multiplier so what impression multiplier basically is um, that the the media houses tell you okay because your ad was shown on this particular time and we expect that 2000 people saw this ad when it was displayed on the banner so 2000 will be the impression multiplier here so if your ad was shown 10 times the impression multiplier the publisher is claiming is 2000 which means 2000 multiplied by 10 which is the publisher impressions will be 20,000 and you will be charged on 20,000 and Google does not interfere on the impression multiplier because you will have to agree this with the publisher about the reporting on these kind of campaigns there are some things you need to understand the first thing is some publishers count or will count even metrics like viewable impressions because they have what they have is because they're the holdings they have the physical holdings they have on uh, roads and town squares or whatever they have cameras there which have a technology to detect how many people were looking at the screen which is easy like even our phones cameras have that these days which is eye detection so they can even tell you viewable impression they can report on a viewable impression telling you how many people exactly saw that ad and then some publishers 
are working on it and they will even provide you demographic uh, and interest reports as well because the technology they're using uh, is also gives them information about the general information about the people okay how many of them were 30 to 40 age group because it does not collect any um, personal identifiable information so it's allowed in most of the countries and then also interest so for example if you're a b testing two creators they can tell you okay you know you have these two videos one for 15 seconds one another for 15 seconds as well but video one at the average time somebody looking at the video and keep keep watching was 10 seconds for video one but seven seconds for video two so they can give you that kind of reporting as well we have stepped in a new era in digital marketing and uh, in programmatic advertising what i see is there will be a lot of companies who will come up with a lot of creative ideas and i think this is going to be one of the big things because i mean outdoor advertising has its own benefits imagine a car brand advertising about their new launch and you seeing the ad on facebook and you're seeing it on a billboard outside it makes a huge difference so now i think this is a space which all of us should keep uh, watching and then i think in the near future if you uh, want to be a digital marketer or a uh, programmatic specialist then you need to understand this space as well that was all for this video thank you so much i'll see you in the next one